Hmm. Well, how about we just get into it? All right, how about that? We got Yampy in the server. What a what a fun look that is. And now, of course, B-Mass and Rain towards the catwalk. That's where they're going to open up shop. That's where we get the 5v4 early for FaZe Clan. We got Sunny with the flashbang into blind back plat. Cold Zera. He's not going to find himself anything just yet. Now he connects. Two heads as they tried to turn their attention over towards the doors. Sunny. Oh, can't get it done. Looks like Cold Zera is the key to this pistol. That's his three frags for FaZe. Little scout vision here for Nico through mid. Ooh, Sunny going to walk right into it. And there's the second shot. Sunny down for the count early days here. It is a pretty strong defense for FaZe. They've got three defenders all in a line along long. Beamass able to catch Sergey with tons of damage. And then that second peek from Jampy is supposed to catch him off guard, but he handles it very well. So all that's left over for Ents is Ariel and Alu, who have come up from Catwalk and will find themselves a bomb plant. But a 1v4 post for Alu. Good luck. He sees heads popping up all over the place. He can take back none of them. It is FaZe Clan 3-0. And look at those AKs. But we've got a fast long control take, so let's see what happens with this deco. They're going to be upgrading with the half armor, but there's already a push up mid from Cold Zera, and he's oh. going to lock it down with three frags. Bomb is in his vision, and one player will come back to try to scavenge it, maybe get a kill, but no, it's going to be clean. And ah, that's all of his bullets. Getting ready to hit this. He is yeah. within the door. Cold Zera just on the other side of it. Brokey gonna dodge the flashbang a bit, but still goes down empty-handed. Cold Zera trying to get himself into the engagement, but he's taking more damage than he's doing here. And Sergey able to plant that bomb absolutely. And here we saw the opening kill resulted in the whole round one. Now, it could have been phased to have two players in the B site, but that wasn't the case. And of course, if you're Ents, you're going to take some small risks where you think it seems fit. And uh, Yumpy even gets a couple of kills in the, in the exit. But you know what? Cold Zera, he can play this spot because they have long control. He's up at Goose with an AWP. The mollies come his way. What's the reaction? He's burned out just a bit, and Sergey's gonna take him down. Now, Beamass does cut one off of the elbow, but there's a close peek in Sunny, and that's gonna spell disaster here for FaZe Clan. Their A site falls, and they're gonna have to decide if they even want to chance the retake. Utility not gonna make it any easier for them. Another round where Ents move in quickly with four players up. Ents can pick it up and make it look very, very easy. So, CTs will save on this one again, and everything else very consistent. Commitment to the B site. Ariel just gonna immediately hone into the player on card. Cold Zera, uh-oh, playing with his flashbangs. Yumpy's not gonna let him get away with that one. So another moment where FaZe, they have to contemplate the retake. And look, we've got our answer. They're gonna give it up again. Yeah. They are keeping the economy going. You know, you've got to sing that sort of a praise, but... Yeah, they're always putting pressure on a, a solo man, which is, you know, exactly how you win the one to win the rounds. We've had but it totally juggles the CT rotates. They're gonna go hold it with an upper, or sorry, an upper tunnel push. The flank is in out mid. Sunny Perfect. ends up getting killed by Cold Zera. He blots that sun out, and now he'll actually fall back into the B site. Rain will have targets come towards him. Yep, they're committing off of the cat. We got Alu in the back line trying to give cover with that off, but the utilities run dry. Sergey on the bomb, Alu denied as Brokey sits beneath his feet. The elbow player, the last man up. Ooh, a second headshot for Nico through a ledge. But Ents are quietly walking up long this entire time. Now they're ready to execute. Now they're ready to commit. Bmas, he may not realize just what is on the other side of his smoke rain. One and done. Bmas, he has the cover and he's got the chance, a two-piece. But he finds himself into the one versus one and that bomb is just beneath him. He's a bit skeptical, thinking maybe it will be the catwalk up. But Sunny, he's already starting to extend around the side. Beamass, quick oh. reaction, but not fast enough. Sunny takes him down, and Ents tied yet again. A bit of an off angle. Now, if this fades, he is done. But he sees the player jumping. Ariel actually gets legged in the sky and dies because of gravity. Oops. Sunny, he's going to try to extend out mid here, but Cold Zera is going to keep him honest. A bit of a deeper angle, but not... 
a good duel for him. Sunny tries that second spray down, and he gets dropped. So it's the man advantage here for FaZe Clan, but only barely in rain. He's going to try to use those flashes to turn them back. 20 seconds on the clock. Brokey's going to activate, and despite hitting the dink onto Alu, he still dies. A flashbang tries to buy time for that bomb to rotate past doors. CTs, ooh, unable to cut it off. Yumpy's gonna plant with just a few seconds to spare. There's Nico with another op shot connecting here. It's Alu and Rain low. Yumpy's trying to cover back tunnels. Rain looks to trade. BMAS in from mid, gets the first kill. It is all on Yumpy. One versus three. Rain's gonna fall first and foremost. Nico next in line, denies. It's FaZe Clan with a sixth. But this is not going to keep Entz from picking up the tempo here ever so quickly, trying to get past the cat. Coldzera, he's blind and burned into the open rain. He's going to pop right up. Ooh. One tap into Raindrop. Ariel. Goodbye. And, well, now he's just going to go ahead and smoke himself out. Flashes up above him. That primes BMAS, who comes in with the kill. Despite being somewhat blinded, he finds a double. But Sunny! Oh, Sunny! So close to the bomb site. He flips him over and gives Entz their sixth. Good way to be in a new position every round here on the ZT side. He's now got eyes down mid. But a player is dropped. Wow, this is tricky. He's going to be on cycle. And <laughs> he's got T's running directly for him. Yeah, he peeks right into his own damn death. Yumpy, good for another one. But Brokey's able to respond. And Brokey's all that remains here for FaZe. So they may have that two-round lead. But it looks like it's going to get cut down to one. He is tagged up by the Opper. And Brokey, with time quite quickly ticking, has to sprint up to the bomb site. Alu going to barrel stuff him with the sidearm. And we've got the Finns. Just, just yeah. to see who really ends up on top. But hey, no surprise about Acor, huh? No, oh. man's, man's real quick. Lickety nope. split, just like Rain here on the headshots. Let's focus forward as we do have the 15 rounds up, 15 rounds down, 4v2 now. As FaZe work into the A site, they just basically clamp down on it. You know, that perfect A pinch from Catwalk and Long. They pick up all their kills. And now Ents are going to attempt a 2v4 retake. They're already starting to throw utility. Coldzera gets flashed through the smoke. And what do you know? Coldzera, 16 and 8. A little two-piece to close the pistol. The scout now in position. Alu didn't start the round here, but he will definitely start the impact. Oh my god! He just takes Rain's head off Alu! Excellent scout work. Now there is still Nico low back there. Oh. Sunny side up. Double kill with the Deeg. And this one falls apart for FaZe. BMAS, one versus three. Sunny up close and Ariel's got him down. Ents bounce right back with the force buy. Yeah, you kind of suck. Yeah. <laughs> Yumpy, he's going to look forward towards the tunnels. Excellent timing on the flashbang, but it doesn't quite hit Sergey. And by the time Yumpy regains his vision, it is Entz regaining the tie. Yes, and that gap has been filled by Nico. Ooh, six cents. Turns around at the perfect time and deals with Sunny. Now, Sergey, he would love to just cut down what's left of Nico, but he has to worry about tunnels too. And Brokey's able to find that angle. Just extends around the box, cuts us down to the 2v2 retake attempt, perhaps. Yumpy and Ariel. Smoke flash and a molly, but Nico he goes back into the tunnels and cuts down Yumpy first. Now that was the lower HP player of the two, and Nico doesn't seem to expect a second. Ariel ready to go down into the 1v1. Brokey just ejects through the windowsill, and Ariel's gonna start panicking here. He's gonna start trying to figure out where the hell did this kid get off to, but Brokey, he's used to playing hide and seek. And Ariel, well, he taps that bomb, goes for the spray, and doesn't connect it. He Fakes it yet once more, but it's the time that becomes the issue, and Brokey shuts it down. Well, well the rotations come out. He has the other op rotating over. Mm -hmm. They cool. don't even really need this. Yumpy he gets, gets the a first. kill, but yet looks a hold already over on the B site. Yeah, 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 Sergey. Oh. He's also going to step up to the plate. He's gotten himself the double, so all the while Yumpy was under pressure, Sergey did not let his guard down, and because of it, Entz have the man advantage. The bomb has been cut off, but Alu, he just starts making a bunch of sound, and that's going to confirm now that the uh, CTs don't quite know what's up. Rain. 
with no utility for them either. Sergey, he's just going to start running up long. Coldzera tucked behind the box. Yumpy in an awkward position because that op's going to have to play close range unless... Oh, unless he peeks into rain first. Cold! He's got him! A second kill off of the ramp. It's FaZe Clan back in the lead. Nico is just on the other side of the smoke. And oh... Oh, wait, what? Brokey, what? he kills Coldzera. And then Alu and Sunny combine for three, so this A play just gets completely shut down. How does Brokey blow Coldzera's head off? We know it's okay because it was a headshot. That is the rules that FaZe have set on team kills. And Bebas is going to find himself empty-handed. So let's get that on the replay. Ents, they just win a round with absolutely zero losses. DJ had no choice but to spectate CT spot in that spot because he was just running across. Okay. Land that Ents had in that first half. Nico jumping out towards long into a fire. Oh no. Unfortunately, what? forgets to drop the smoke. I think he switched out before he did. Oof, we've all been there before, but that is a very costly mistake to make, and Sunny will go ahead and grab a rifle kill to clean out the blue box entirely. It's long control in favor of ends. And then let whatever gun comes out next come out next. Rain's gonna pepper this A site with a little bit of utility, but Alu locking it down on long yet again. And then we've got Sunny just tucking his head down so that Alu can find himself another wide out in the open. Brokey a little bit worried about it, and I don't blame him. He is trying, of course, in the 1v4 with 10 seconds on the clock. He's got nothing to do. So Ents. It's actually a big fake. Wow, Alu. Oh, misses the shot, but not the follow-up. Again, he's going to hit it. Oh, and Alu in with the quick scopes. Three frags on the double doors. He beckons them in and then just rocks their world. BMAS, last man up, 1v5. Ents are gunning for that 16th round, man. Alu, it looked like he, it's like he misses the easiest of the other three shots and then comes up big. BMAS will take his head off, sure enough, so they will have to reinvest into Alu's op, but he is absolutely worth it. Okay, it's at the long control. I like this from FaZe. It's worked well for them in the past. In general, Ooh. Brokey also gets the opening kill. Only one player here crossing towards the pit. Actually, close up on the door. Sonny gets blind, has to move back, and that solar flare of a flash blinds him, pops right in his face. Rain, open, another opening kill here towards long. And this is already a 5v3 situation. But BMAS, he's got a guy coming up on the right. Yeah, That's that an was... opening kill for Yumpy. Yeah, he took a bit of time to get back there. And now FaZe are a bit scared, running forward up to A. They're going to leave one op back in pit. If there was anybody who was going to get killed before the commitment, it was going to be BMAS over there in the tunnels all alone. But Ariel, he's just trying to hide behind the smoke. Nico, he's going to start coming around it. No, Ariel decides to activate. He moves in and is sent out. Sergey, one versus four, or else FaZe, they're going to take this 15th round. He shoots Cold Zera off of the box, gets a little bit of cover. But Nico, looming near, swoops in for that last frag. FaZe Clan take 15. Molotov into pit, decides not to throw the flashbang. They're gonna hard clear Sunny. He gets dinked and yet Rain's still able to get one kill. Can Ariel do the better? He does get a chance for the reload. There's more Molotovs being thrown at him. He's just trying to find a bit of sanctuary, a little bit of safety, and there is no net for him. So they'll basically forfeit bomb control. Sergey in CT spawn. <gasps> oh, he comes up oh. and Alu almost almost gets that crosshair onto position. Now, Sergey, he's going to be blind as he sees players jumping over. Alu had to check his own flank because they were keeping Yumpy deep in B, but now they know they've got to make this A retake happen. It's the two versus four, and Sergey, he doesn't want to get caught in no man's land, so it's going to boil down to Yumpy getting this first frag on Cat, compromising the bomb site. BMAS, he's going to keep himself tucked in. Great trade train. Now Sergey up from ramp, walking ever closer to the bomb site, but he gives his back to Cold, and they give the map to FaZe. Ramble on a bit, but he'll be back in a second, and we'll just go off of what we see out of this round, first things first on Mirage, they're going to have these B exec come through. Rain with another double entry off the flash assist from Nico, leaving Ents in the 3v5 post plant to retake B site. And Bimass is here to make sure, as the doorman, that nobody gets through. Alu will be the first one kicked outside the club, and now he'll take a peek 
and see that there's somebody else. Sergey, he wants to go for a smoke break. He's going to get stuffed. Stunny is now coming in off of Cat and is basically the only thing they have going for them at this point. Did not tell the full story for Ents. They were still able to win 4v5, but overall... That on Dust2, we saw Ents, and in particular, Alu's scout be what they needed to buy and bounce right back. But Yumpy, three-piece with the Deagle. Just blowing them away here on the B-bomb site. Ariel, he's going to have a little bit of cover back on the bench, but this is a four versus two. Nico, he's going to cut back a second player, but they don't have the bomb. That was dropped inside the windowsill as Yumpy went big. Brokey and Nico, that is only 56 health combined. And yet from the two versus four, they've cut it back to the 2v2. And then you wonder if they even have to. They could just straight up go for the eliminations. They know Sergey's inside this window, but Sergey peeks into Nico, taking him down and forcing Brokey into the clutch. He's going to try versus Sergey, but he's distracted as Alu comes off of Catwalk. It's the scout that seals the deal. Hideous crosshair makes this one look, look not so bad. But in the end, it is Ariel with his crosshair. See? Putting in work, man. So listen, I'll shut my mouth. <laughs> he goes to the top of mid with the ump, just wrecks face, $1,200 SMG, cutting down Nico and Rain. He's done everything that's unfolded this round. Ever since then, we've just had FaZe slowly working their way through middle. And eventually they're gonna walk into Yumpy. He is right here, ready to lock it down. He gets the first kill and damage, which is enough for Sunny to spray through smoke and seal the deal. Three survivors here for Ents, caught in a, a triage of peaks, but ooh, he's gonna get the best of Sunny. Found him hiding in the corner. There's the window play from Alu. He's good for a second, but down he goes. Nico, a two-piece in the round so far. Coldzera tries to come out onto the bomb site, but Sergey very nicely done. He just keeps his head tucked behind Box, shaving off, oh, the connector player, but Cold, he wants it. Oh, he wants it bad. One deagle shot between the eyes of Ariel is all that he needs. And Ariel's right there at the bottom of Connector. Comes peeking up through the corpses to seal the deal. That's Ents with a third round. Heavy lean towards B. It's basically the full pistols. There's only, there's two players here. One's boosted up. Ah, oh, but Ariel, he's full facing. However, he goes down one for one. Will they spot the fence player? Mm, we'll find out. Yumpy, oh no, playing with grenades, oh still in the Molotov. He just burns to an absolute crisp, although still able to take one with him because that's just Yumpy things. Alu very quickly in through the arch side. Brokey's going to cover it from bench with the two-piece, and Sergey's all that's left over. He gets that spam damage, but it's not enough to drop either player yet. He knows where they are. He keeps Brokey away from that marketplace, away from sneaking into cover. Now BMAS back behind Van, down to the USP. Sergey with the side arm taking a fourth for Ents. Well, the push up through Palace, a fast crush it looks like, no flash at all. Oh, Sunny and Sergey, two quick headshots. It was looking good, but Brokey and Rain do get something going for them. I wonder if it's going to get awkward here. We've got the double off on the retake plus Ariel's SMG, which has been on point. But as they try to retrieve that bomb, it's Nico to continue on. The only man in the 1v3, just good for the first over towards the apartments with a bit of a deeper vision. But Ariel, he's gonna call out this boost. Oh, just as Nico took to the top of the box, he goes down, Yumpy peeks in and also dropped empty-handed. This was looking flawless until Alu has a bit of a say in the situation. Just good for the one kill and Sunny immediately has to go hide in his palace to save. If he could find an op, that'd be great, but... We've got a Sunny sandwich coming in here in palace. They're pushing up fast. I mean, he could if he's lucky. Whoa, knocked the bomb down, but Coldzera. Headshot versus headshot, and the AK wins every time. He's cowering for cover. It is not a confident position for him to be in, but Sergey still able to pick up one kill. And Alu, that was over top of the smoke. He got boosted, and Rain just shoots through it. He puts him back into the three versus three. Now they're a little bit skeptical of the CT peak, but now is their chance to plant. Soon enough, we're going to have Ents walking into these crosshairs. Rain just waiting for it. Can't manage. BMAS, good for the one. Brokey into the clutch. He's got the HP advantage over Alu. Alu back behind Ticket, trying to dodge shots as he has the cover of smoke. And Brokey's got the bomb. 
Alu's got one as well. Brokey not wide swinging just yet. Not quite sure if he's extended. Now he gets the confirmation oh. and the one tap assassination. Brokey with the clutch. There are differing worldviews, okay? And uh, I see a world right here where we're going to get another clash on mid. B-Mask gets eyes over the ledge, but there's a second CT just beneath him. Yumpy empty-handed. B-Mask and Brokey, a couple of quick kills to start this 12th round. Looks like FaZe should be tying at six. They get the third for completely free. And there's the answer. It took a bit of time, but Sergey's found at least one kill. A second as well. No third, though. That's FaZe Clan tying at six. Alu scoped up. Actually, maybe Nico didn't hear him. Oh, but it no. doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. Yeah, now Nico's going to have cover from his smoke. He's meant to get away, but it, oh, it doesn't go far enough. It's not the perfect grenade to keep Alu out of the situation. He regains the vision, but Cold Zera is oh so close with Yumpy also on jungle. Alu manages to get out from Connector, but in the meantime, we saw Beamass work over towards Ticket, cut off Aerial, leave only the double ops here for the retake. Such little help for two of these Ts. Down goes one. Alu trying to find his opening but Rain taking to the top side of the box. He hasn't found anything just yet, and now Sunny has got unanswered questions. Cold, gonna best Sergey over towards the palace. Imagine how much more pressure that now puts on the shoulders of Sunny. He's hoping that ramp flank comes in, but as they wait for it to happen, everything falls apart. Ariel, sure, he's in position, but they found him, and more importantly, they dealt with everybody else before he even has the chance. They're going to hop. They're going to parade their way into A as deep as they can get. Brokey trying to find the hole, and he slips through it. Nico, he's looking for the headshot on the other side, but this does allow the CTs to go over towards Ticket. It's supposed to. Yampy just sticks his little neck out and actually manages to catch Nico. So four versus four is what we're left with as the bomb has gone down. And look at this post plant for Entz. It's very much split down the middle. Rain, he's about to creep up on the jungle player, but he does get cut down by Sunny first. So now the pressure's really on. b he tries to stick it inside of the smoke and that doesn't work at all. It's Entz with the second pistol. It's a glorious place to spend your time. Well, How about the cat sack. push? How about the app split? Oh. How about Brokey blows your damn head off? Yumpy, he's the first man down. Cold out from the corner with a little bit more damage, but Beamass, oh, he's trying to hide behind Van. Brokey's gonna get tagged to a single HP. So Sergey, he's got just the first. Rain gonna also be tagged up, but body bags both Sergey and Sunny, and now Alu into the one versus one. And he has a good amount of HP, the advantage, but it's the angle, the nasty little dirtbag angle from Rain. I absolutely love it. But it looks like he gets away instead trying to join forces with the other two CTs on ticket. Rain gets sent soaring as Ariel moves back towards ramp and Sunny goes in. Now actively flanking the two remaining members here for phase. So they are very boxed into the situation. They don't realize that the guillotine's about to come dropping down upon them in the form of Sunny. He sprays them from the back. Now Brokey's gonna have to try to find a new piece of cover, but he just doesn't have time to win this. The 2T's gonna take it. That's Entz with an eighth, and FaZe still lead by three. Full-fledged, utility-focused execution, oh, and it's oh. supposed to go well. Supposed to because we get a couple of deagle kills coming out of nowhere. Entz, they thought they had it for the taking. Think of the way they so easily walked into that with zero resistance until the bomb plant attempt comes in. Now it is the 3v3 and Yumpy, he is looking for the CT peak, but it's gonna come at him from both angles and Ariel, he doesn't check. Oh, cold, he does more damage. It's onto Beamass. A single bullet versus Sunny could be enough. He's been seen and Sunny, he doesn't have much time to play around. So he has to prioritize plant now what p250 has relocated from jungle wrapping around to connector could decide to peek up over top of stairs and sunny looks away Beamass, he's been seen again and sunny's gonna get it that is way too close for comfort now we'll see if the three-pronged assault comes into fruition right now it's just rain Extending into the ramp peak. Alu on the other side. Bomb confirmed dropped. 
And that's a lot of information, let alone the information. Let's just talk about the kills. Five versus three. Sunny, he does work in from mid alongside Yumpy, and Nico's gonna shut that one down. He seems to be ready for another, but he's being pulled in all directions, and that is supposed to prime Sunny, but Brokey catches it. And they're just going to slowly creep this one closer. Down to the final 30 seconds. Utility starting to give way to the play. Rain tucks beneath the palace. Sergey's still above him. And Nico's gotten himself one kill from mid. But Nico caught changing guns. That's going to be a crucial error that puts FaZe back into the two versus two. BMAS, great spam damage. But the bomb's still on site and now planted. What's the post plant? Sergey, he's currently pinned in underneath palace. They can't move forward because of that op from Catwalk. But Cold Zera has gotten a little bit closer. Now he's joining BMAS, looking to split into this. Goo, a little bit of frag damage, but not enough to take Sunny down. BMAS finishes the job. Sergey, one versus two, and nothing more. He got those first two frags. He was a key piece to taking the A site. And the CTs absolutely know it. Brokey, he's going to back up. And Rain, he plays in front of a smoke. Ooh, now Brokey going for a bit of a dangerous peek. Rain, crab spray. He has 28 frags at the end of that 4K hold. Rain just looking like the next level they need. Early first layer of counter grenades and Brokey eyes dead set on this peak, looking for Ooh. it. But however, his teammate dies beside him. He doesn't trade, but there's a second up on A. It's Cold Zero on the balcony. Yeah, he's inside of the palace. He's deep. Meanwhile, Nico, he throws himself through smoke. Cold's gonna come back in. And Nico's managed that second frag on the bomb planter. These last two T's on opposite ends of the bomb site. Counter terrorists also cut off. And BMAS, he didn't have much health. But Cold Zera, they may still think he's in palace. Oh, Sunny checks him. And that's Ents keeping this one rolling. That grenade on the mark. Utility is going to be indicative of the hit. Nico trying to get his gun back out in time. Oh, oh, they line up. Nico, he's still able to maybe get another, but it seems like he fumbles with his guns. And Sunny inside of the smoke just wants the bomb plant. Doesn't want to give FaZe time to move their pieces back around the ticket. And while FaZe do now arrive, it's the bomb already planted. So I like that from Sunny. Prioritize plant. Fluster the CTs, force them into the retake as opposed to slowing you down. Damage done from jungle, but Cold Zera's taken out of this one. Phase, it's all off of ticket if they want to close it here. Low HP for three of the T's. And uh, <laughs> Big Sergey, he was <laughs> ballsy enough to hold that line. Flash Prime, oh. do it now. Oh, just before Yumpy turns the corner. Flash is great, but aerial counter flashbang play pays off. Brokey. Ooh, he can't stop the man getting out of Palace and then jumps right into the scope of Alu. This has to be overtime. This absolutely has to be what we didn't get on Dust2. It seems so close. And yet now Ents have managed to force the issue. 5v2. BMAS and Cold Zera both off of the ticket. They're going to see the man on firebox, but nobody stops Sergey. Overtime. Wind it up. Seems like it. Oh, oh, he extends. He is able to cut off Yuppie, but now what? Sunny, that mid lurk, moves through connector. He tucks into the corner. Nico shaving Sergey off at the top of stairs. That's good. Four phase. Four versus three in the post plant. One inside of Palace, one back towards Tetris. Ariel gets dinked. He was trying to throw the smoke up, but instead now he's on 14 HP. Nico's gonna finish the kill. CT's trying to move in here. Alu has now revealed himself, so this is no surprise, but he drops both shots. It's up to Sunny to blindside the CTs as they try to push in. He gets that first headshot, flash to his left. It doesn't blow up quick enough. Alu doesn't even chance it. He gives away the defuse. He retains the op. Literal perfect timing for Ents. They just got by because Cold Zero was wary that somebody was already closer. That's a bomb plant for default. A second peek oh, around the corner. And yeah, Cold Zero, he's just got to lock in the bench player. He calls it out and knocks him down. Yampi, one versus three. There's the triple flashbang, double smoke for the retake. He's got to try to keep his vision and just knock back the headshots. There's the first one. Doesn't lose a single point of health on it. Cold Zera, he's going to challenge, jumps over, and he gets into the cover. Yumpy's got it all! Four frags in the last round of the first half of OT. Part of the same conducive game plan. One had an op out, one had a, one had a pistol. 
but it wasn't a double peek at all. Ooh, and he's going to be the difference maker right out the gate here on the CT side of overtime as well. Makes the hop over to Catwalk. Establishes the 5v4, taking down Rain. And there's the peak, the aggressiveness coming out of Ents. Entry kills Brokey. Cannot walk anymore. 20 seconds up. And BMS, can he, can he be useful in this situation? They got to get the entry, but they, they're going to need him to get any more than that. Yeah, no bomb Ooh. looks like it's going to be planted. He'll get offed, and that's Ooh, the end of the round. Flawless. Nicely done from Ents. Uh-oh, Alu, he's stuck. Ah. Gets out through the murder hole. He will escape. And now, well, ooh, the two-piece jump. Very nice. Although it does just fall right into Sunny. So, uh, great movement. The total distance in OT. But so far, it's looking like Ents are ready to close on Mirage. There's Sergey with another kill. His position now known. Alu's off, grabs another. It's all on BMAS. One versus five. He's flashbanged on Tetris. He's stranded. He's dead. And this series goes the distance. And Ents had four bet four odds on Betway. Four odds. And now they move into this map. And again, Ents, four map win streak for them. Phase, a couple of bad losses recently. Yeah, it may be the day to turn it all around. We'll see. Brokey, he's got vision up from heaven. It's him and Vmas, two versus two. Now just Sergey beneath him. Oh. We're playing King of the Hill. It's the Battle of the Playground. And Brokey, well, him and BMAS still up and above. Sergey, he's going to hear one player drop. Can't cut him off, though. It's the two young guns of FaZe Clan taking the first pistol. Poking fun aside, Ents, obviously. They've shown us some great resilience today. This could have been them 2 owing, in fact, had they been able to claw Dust 2 into overtime. But it seems like winning pistols really doesn't mean too much. 5v4 for Ents. Bomb plant as well here at the B site. Yumpy ready to get r rolling through the doors, but his teammates just killing everybody. Dude, Alu, I want to see those deagle shots. We were ready for Yumpy to make his move. Sergey a little worried about the hut roof, and he has a reason to be. Cold Zera's definitely up there, and Brokey's still alive and kicking. He drops down because the gun goes dry. Yumpy in with a second, no, a third here versus USPs. One point of health makes a difference for him. He'll plant that bomb and hope to exit with his armor, utility, and M4. Rain's going to walk out into the vents, and he is done. 3-1. So they've got eyes. They know that one's top hut. Well, Kulzer gets flashed off. That's a free kill for Sergey. Great flash from Yumpy. He's been doing a good job of applying pressure from downstairs. Normally, a position teams don't bother moving from. Hello, either. Rain, he's tucked into garage. So, Nico, he is fully exposed. Look how easy that is. Alu's going to strike him down. Now the feet have definitely been seen. Brokey fires an op shot, so they know where he is. 20 seconds. And that bomb's going to get picked up by Alu. He's hopping past the secret stairs. He's going to sprint down to the B site. And Brokey, oh, it looked like he was going to go stop it. Yumpy was going to come in on his flank, so he tries to stop that instead. For FaZe Clan, a great hole last year, of course. Ooh. Oh. God, I like watching Brokey up. Yeah, he is a great opper, isn't he? I mean, he, I think he's he does well on both sides. Yeah, he ops with he op, he doesn't op like he's young. <laughs> oh, you know, uh, funnily enough, he doesn't he doesn't really he doesn't speak like he's as young as he is either. But Jumpy Jumpy has not been scared in this game. Whoa. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, talk about not scared. Yeah, let's talk about Sunny. <laughs> Oh, he yep, did not he, bite he, on that at all. Just hones in on it, and he misses the follow-up shot, so Cold Zera's two-piece is enough to close. For his teammates here, but now he's going to have to call some sort of a confirmation. There's two heads running down on him, and 15 seconds left over. You can see BMAS come down from ramp, but there is still a player inside Mini. 10 seconds to go. Rain, he is now known to the CT side as they look to lock off the A site. There is no chance to plant. All they need is one player to survive, and it's a rock solid hold. Yumpy's going to try to just find safety in lobby, but Ents. They play themselves. So sometimes with uh, lesser weapons, you know, it takes the pressure off a bit. It's not a gun round. So, although, actually, excuse me. Whoa, 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 what am I saying? Look at the money, dude. They went all in on this. So it's absolutely pressure. If anything, there's more pressure than ever. And they're crumbling beneath it. FaZe looking to tie this up at five rounds apiece.
He has a feeling as to where they are. Mess. Is he the first victim? No, he's not. He's the defender. He's calling that out. And uh, another off shot comes in. Yeah, and not a single point of damage into the end of the round. Oh, wait. Oh, Alu just low grenade so he can entry. Maybe rain. Oh, my God. He's just going to stop him in their tracks. The 3K sprayed out on Squeaky. Every single person dies. This time, it's all to rifles. Last time, it was all to ops. And oh, my God. For that to just get swooped up, they don't get a single entry in response. Ooh, oh my god. Yes! I love to see stuff like that, man. Ariel, I feel sorry for you, friend. Just completely shut down in this one. Rain's gonna get the instant headshot versus Yampi. So now that bomb's been thrown into the open. Rain, he's just sitting pretty here behind the boxes, not getting tagged up whatsoever. It's one point of damage versus Nico until this point. They do try and challenge Rain. Oh, Sergey's not even shooting back anymore. He's just- I think he was smoke. Yeah, of course. And Bimas, he could actually get this flank kill. He'll have shadow advantage on that frag. Nice awareness by him. Ooh. And a dink to follow suit, but that's still the man advantage for Ents. Can they lock Whoa. down this 15th round? Can they can they break the spree of victory that we have seen from FaZe Clan? Nico. Alu went down the vent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dipped, dodged, ducked all the way back out around secret. Alu's gonna be trying to come in to secure this. He will have the diffuser out in the open if it gets to that point, but Brokey with the deagle down to the one versus one. They know where he went. The smoke pops. Ooh, he's got the cover, and the flash goes out. Alu, Alu, he can't oh stop it. FaZe, take the test. Oh, it's a robbery to close the first half. Welcome to the second pistol, where Brokey and Cold Zera have tons of grenades, and they kind of stutter step on each other as Ariel. Ah, what? Nico, was that the? Oh, oh my God, dude, he's not done. He's oh, gonna keep entry going. upstairs as well. They get down into the vent. Nico has ramp open. They can't even rotate two v five. Man, call it a day. Yeah, he just zoomed right through that attempt at the ramp push. So two CTs trying to survive it all. And in reality, what we have is FaZe Clan stopping what was going to be a blowout of a CT side, and now turning it around with the second pistol. Don't forget for a moment that... Uh, Up on top of this marshmallow, this Twinkie, whatever you want to call it. Keep eyes on these CTs pushing up. Ooh, three, four, give him the ace. Rain, you're an awful friend. But a great Counter-Strike player. So that's a 13th for FaZe. And he's getting ever closer to Alu, who is fully exposed to this. In fact, Alu, he just saw a second player in Sunny, and they're down. Yampi, he may be inside of the B site, but we could have FaZe Clan double it back to hell, rotate up through heaven. I mean, man, they could come through mini. Every single option is op open for them, barring lobby. And oh, poor Sergey. He just falls to the worst possible timing, tries to get around the corner, and Cold Zera is going to sniff him out. This is phase with a 14th round now. Launders, yeah. this has been such an incredibly lopsided showing. The five rounds for Ents were in the first six rounds. Do you try and then make the 10 round comeback? It's tough, but Alu, he doesn't have a choice because he is very much pinned into the back of A, so maybe they just look to lock this down. Two kills coming out of them until there's some sort of an answer with Cold, but Ariel, he peeks before the reload's done, and that absolutely costs him. It's Sunny on for the one versus three. The bomb's planted beneath him, and he's just gonna jump right down the vent. Brokey dodging the danger by going back through decontamination. He's now posted, and roasted is Sunny. 15 to 5. They get adventurous inside of Lobby, and BMAS, well, he's just been tasked to hold back. He sees the leg of Yampi, and, well, he's looking for one other. Sunny, one and done. That's going to call Sergey back into action on the A site. Rain and Alu exchanging kills here. So it is the two versus two, and a little bit of damage off of the Deagle, but it's not quite enough. Alu, ooh, he's got a chance, but it's stripped away, and FaZe in absolute stunning.